How's it going, guys? This is Gara again with a OU battle. Also, again with my rain team. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I love my rain team. Um, if it's, I don't know. It's just my. You know what? I love just weather teams in general because they. You know what? I'm not even gonna keep rambling on. I, you know, I've got my Politoed here, Shibuti, and if you get the name, if you, if you, if anybody understands my nicknames for anything, let me give me your address, and I will mail you cookies. Just saying, my uh, Shibuti, which is my uh, Politoed. I know that actually that nickname doesn't make sense, but it just looked like a Shibuti, so that's what it's named. My Manet trike is named Chance. That's from a movie, a very old movie, involves two dogs and one cat. Then my Toxic Croak named Battle Toad. Salamence is called Fuck, Fuck Haxorus because when I first started on Pokemon Showdown, I picked Haxorus because I never played with it before. I didn't even play the game that it came from. And I got outsped by everything. So I picked uh, my favorite Dragon type Pokemon ever. And it just so happens to be like two points faster than Haxorus. So that's why the name's there. And uh, I know nobody would get that, so I figured I'd tell the story. Then there's Rotom Wash. Um, he is named Snuggy. Then my uh, Jirachi's named TK. And that is not a Shofu reference. I just realized that they have the same name, so I might have to rename him, but you know. What a helpful. And then he's got a Bronzong. I'm worried about the Bronzong because I do not carry any kind of fire type move on this team, specifically because they are weak in rain. He has Flamethrower, but it's not going to be enough to take out a Bronzong in the rain. Yeah, especially in the rain. So, I don't know. And that, that's why, again, I, I decided to change it to Hyper Beam. But that's just a surprise people and, you know, have a little fun. Because that's what these are all about, having fun. Then he's got the uh, Porygon Z, which I really don't like Porygon Z. I don't understand why he's OU. Except for a few battles ago where I totally got swept by one, but... You know, now that, now that that's happened and that's out of the way, I know how to deal with them, and they're not they're not that great. But you know, whatever. Re renew re that thing looks like a little baby inside of a green teddy bear, Renuculus, or however you say his name. I'm only afraid of him because um, I only have two physical attackers, and one is weak to a stab, and I don't know what else he could possibly carry. Then he's got Slowbro, and I'm not afraid of him because, again, this is a rain team, and uh, that's one uh, and two people that know Thunder, and if they get knocked out, then he can be knocked out physically, and if that's, you know, there's really no problem there. Scrafty, I don't know how to really deal with the Scrafty because I don't know their sets yet, so I'm just kind of going to wing it on him. And Dragonite, I'm not afraid of because I think I, I'm, since my Salamence is Choice Scarf, I, I believe I outspeed him unless he's Choice Scarf. Uh, and if not, then I also have my Shibuti to have the Ice Beam. And if not, Manectrike is Choice Scarf and has Thunder. And if not, then, you know, I basically got Dragonite covered. So let's go ahead and get into the game now. He sends out his Slowbro. And since he has no weather, I bring out Shibuti to uh, start some weather up. And I go ahead and go for Toxic, but he gets cured by Lumberry. And then he goes for something strange. He goes for Trick Room. So, and I guess that's not strange because, you know, Renuculus is ridiculously slow. So I would understand how he does that. But then he makes that like the main thing about this whole team is the Trick Room. So I'm going to go for Toxic and Parashong. And the reason I do that is because the last game that I got into with a Porygon Z was with a Smurgle. And it, it set up. And then the Porygon 2 set up and swept my whole team. I mean, it was it was depressing, but you know, whatever. Then I switch out into Chance, and I know he can take something from him, because he's not completely useless, you know, he's Choice Scarf, and so I go for Thunder, because it won't miss, and it's Stab, and you know, it's ridiculously strong. Here, I was going to try and go for Thunder, but he has the Extreme Speed, and I guess I should have predicted that better, but again, I'm a noob. So I got into Toxicroak, and I should have predicted him to switch, and just go for a freaking swords dance. Uh, but I don't. I didn't want to over predict and be one of those types of guys. So I just go for the sucker punch straight away. He goes for another trick room. So everything everything on his team is trick room. And uh, it works really well for him. So I got to give him props for that. 
there I, I knew he was gonna do something set up ish like stealth rocks I just I had that feeling so I go for the uh, swords dance and uh, he goes for the earthquake so now that I know he's on the offensive and he's done setting up I try and go for yet another uh, sucker punch but he switches out back into the Dragonite and here I'm like well you know I don't think that my battle toe is going to be doing that much just because, I mean, there's nothing on his team that would be threatened by Battletoads. So I bring out Haxorus, or uh, fuck Haxorus, excuse me. And I go for Dragon Claw, just to be safe, because he could switch out into whatever. But they're not going to want to take a Dragon Claw. But apparently his slow bro's bulky is all good out. So I switch out into Snuggie, and I'm going to try and T-Wave this thing. Just to get some hacks going, because uh, hopefully, you know, the Lords of Hacks will be on my side. He switches out. And, you know, if you switch out, they'll get T-Wave or whatever. T-Wave is just a good little move to use. And I use Hydro Pump because Hydro Pump in the rain plus Stab. doesn't matter if I, I have no special attack investment. It still does over half. It's a two-hit KO. And I'll take that two-hit KO gladly. Um, notice, I'm sorry if I didn't mention this, but I'm on the right side because this is a playback. He uses Psychic because it's Trick Room or whatever. I use T-Wave. And the trick room goes away, and then I'm going to try and hit him as hard as I can. Or no, this this time I go for a Volt Switch, and then I'm going to go to my Jirachi, I believe. That way I can take his Psychic, because I resist it. But he gets paralyzed anyway. So what I do here, since he has what I believe to be no phasers on his team, I'm going to go for Calm Mind. Or uh, Substitute, I'm sorry. And uh, then I'm going to try and go for, get a, you know, Calm Mind off. I think he goes for Trick Room again here. Yeah, see, he goes for Trick Room yet again. Because everything on his team is slow, so. He uses Fire Blast, but again, I'm max special defense. I just gotta call mine up, and it's in the rain. That's why I took, you know, Fire Blast, Fire Flamethrower off from my Manetric, because I was like, that's completely useless. There's no use for that. Hyper Beam, because Hyper Beam's Gen 1, and it's the best move ever, so. There I get my uh, up to plus two, like you can see there. He goes for a fire blast to try and break the sub, but it's not gonna happen because accuracy is on my side. And then I get the gods of hacks to paralyze Dragonite because I gave them, I coaxed them with cookies. I coaxed the god of hacks with cookies this morning. Yes, I did. Then I use thunder again. You know, just get rid of Dragonite. It's super effective. If it's not, whatever. I don't care. I'm at plus two and I'm a Jirachi. Kiss my nuts. <laughs> then uh. You know, Bronzong comes in, lives with 1%, breaks my sub, you know, being a beastly little thing that it is. He brings out Slowbro again. I'm like, dude, you're a water type. I'm using Thunder at plus two in the rain, bro. Come on, man. I know it's 1%, but come on, man. Then Renuculus comes out, specially defensive wall, does a freaking focus blast, but I'm a psychic type. And I use Thunder again because, you know, why not? It's not going to miss. And I'm at plus two. It does 120 base damage. Whatever. Then he brings out the Bronzong. And just to add insult to injury, I use my stab move, the Flash Cannon, on uh, his Steel type because I feel like it. And I love the animation for Flash Cannon in the game. And I love the word Flash Cannon. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that's the game there. Um, let me know what you guys think. And um, if not, then no cookies for you, I suppose. Maybe. No, no cookies for you.